Hello, Ricardo. Good evening. <laughs> the microphone is turned off. Oh my God, who turned off the microphone? No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How's it going, Ricardo? Fine, and you? Yeah, but uh, the weekend, very well. Really? Very well, uh, yeah, at the beginning of the week, uh, labor, labor week. Labor uh, week? Mm -hmm. Yes, I start very well because uh, it was my day. My day is was busy. Oh, really? Like like uh, like uh, like every month, every Monday, very very busy. Great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had a busy a busy weekend too. I had to do a lot of things at home. Yeah. Okay. okay, Frank. Good evening, Frank. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. Hmm. I had a lot of work in this day. A um, lot of... Really? Why? Yes, in my work. Um, I work at around nine, nine hours. Nine hours? Yeah. Okay, and you have to go to your job place, to your workplace, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm very tired. Yeah, well, well, welcome. Thank you for joining us, guys. Thank you. I know you're tired sometimes, but it's Monday and we're starting the week. And this weekend, uh, we're going to finish the week really quick, you'll see. Because this week, by the way, we will be here from Monday through Thursday only. Don't forget, Friday, we are not having classes. Oh, my God, I have a line on my forehead. I'm getting oh, old. New office. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I had to move from my bedroom to the studio uh, because I had a problem in my master room. The bathroom got stuck. You know, so the yeah. water... The water was coming out of the bathtub, you know. So mm. tomorrow someone is coming to to repair the the bathroom. So, what happened the guitar? Huh? Sorry. What happened the guitar? To the guitar. You know what happened, yeah. Frank? I had an accident with my guitar. Really? Yeah, oh, it man. fell. It fell from the from the wall to the floor. I was like, oh my God, no, but it still works. It still works. Thanks for asking. <laughs> she's, she's recovering. And that hurt. That really hurt a lot. Okay. Juan, welcome. Erika. Who's, who's Russo Palacios? It's me. Who's me? I, hey, what's up, Giovanni? <laughs> yeah, okay. I was being afraid already. I felt, I felt afraid, you know, when I heard a Russo. Oh my God, we have a Russian with us, Mother Russia. Okay, guys, today it's going to be a fun class. There's a conversation on the platform, and we're going to use it. But first, I want you to think. So let's let's use this icebreaker. So you can think of something else. Ever since you met me, I have tried. Uh, I have tried to uh, give you like natural spoken English, right? Like that. I said I have. Sorry, I have tried. Uh, I have tried to, and some teachers may told you may tell you. Um, you have to say I have tried to. I have tried to. That is incorrect. You have to join the words. I have tried to. I have tried to. Listen. So you can even type it. I have tried to. Try to. Try to. I have tried to. I have tried. 
sounds like mm -hmm. you. I have tried it. There you go. I have tried it. Okay. I have tried to teach you. You see? I have tried to teach you natural spoken English. So one way of doing this is thinking about synonym ways of speaking. What? Yeah, synonym ways of speaking. For example, let's practice. How can you say the following common phrase in a different way? Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. This is very common. Sorry. Can you repeat that? Or, or excuse me, can you repeat that? So I want you to think and other ways of saying this common phrase. How else can you say, excuse me, can you repeat that? Sorry, say again, please. Excellent, okay, let's see, let's listen. Sorry, come again, Ricardo. Say again. <laughs> Sorry, say again. Sorry, say again, please. Okay. Okay. Let's go one by one. Francisco. Uh, excuse me, could you repeat that, please? Again? Okay, that's, uh, what, me. The, that's okay. what we're trying to avoid saying, excuse me, can you repeat that? Let's use something else, something different. Mm. I can't uh, say the model bear. Sure. Could you repeat? Excellent. Could you, Could you repeat, please? repeat, please? Okay. Could you repeat, please? Mm -hmm. Giovanni? Didn't know. Uh, Sorry. Shoot. Okay, I, I didn't hear you, Russo. I mean, Giovanni. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. You don't know? Okay, no. let's go. Let's go with Juan. Juan, how would you say that? Um, could you mind? Could you mind? No, could you mind? He speaks more slowly, for example. Speaking slower. Slower. Okay, would you mind speaking slower? That's another way. Okay, but here. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. You can say that. Okay. Let's go with Marlon. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Uh, a similar uh, sentence. Mm -hmm. We're looking at similar, sim I'm sorry, synonym phrases, let's say. Um, excuse me, can you repeat it again? That's what we're or, doing or here. Yeah, let know. We're already here. <laughs> can you repeat that again? Uh huh. Mm. Excuse oh me, goodness. what did you say? What do you say? What do you say? <laughs> what you said? Let me give you something even more natural. What you said? What you say? Now this <laughs> is get this is ghetto. This is mm -hmm. slang, let's say ghetto. Missing a T. That's ghetto. That's street talking. Street talking in formal English. What you said? Uh huh. Let's see. I have Erica. Uh, would you tell me what time it is? Come again. I'm sorry. <coughs> could you tell me what time it is? Oh, no, no. Okay. We are. 
estamos, a ver, no. lo normal es que te digan, que te enseñen en todas las academias, ¿no? Decir, excuse me, can you repeat that? Para preguntar, mm -hmm. si no entendiste lo que se dijo o que crees que se, se, se te repita de nuevo, lo normal es que te digan, decía así, excuse me, can you repeat that? O, sorry, say again, please. O, could you repeat, please? Would you mind speaking slower? What you said? Esto ya está aparte. What you said? Ok, so, ¿cómo más uh, dirías tú, disculpe, no entendí? O pedir por repetición de algo que se estaba hablando, ok. Uh, mm, uh, I don't know. <laughs> ok, uh, does anybody have an idea, any other idea, any other phrase? No? Okay, no. Let, let me give you who Ricardo, you have another one? Yeah. No, uh -huh. no, 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 no. No? Okay. No. Easy, it. easy guys. Let me start from the most common English spoken. Um, come again. Or actually, well, that will make it polite, right? Come again. Come again. No. Come again, please. Or, but you have to speak this faster, okay? Come again, please. And very common, very um, similar to what you were using. Sorry, I didn't catch the last word you said. Sorry, I didn't catch the last word you said. Sorry, I didn't catch the last word you said. Okay. Informal. Even more polite. Okay, more polite. Could you run that by me again? Okay. Could you run that by me again? Could you run that by me again? And this is a common phrase. Could you run that by me again? Come again, please. Sorry, I didn't catch the last word you said. Could you run that by me again? Very used. Beg your pardon. Repeat. Beg your pardon. Beg your pardon. Beg your pardon. Even without facing that person you have to be very natural on your tone of voice so you go like beg your pardon beg your pardon or you can simply say you can simply say pardon pardon okay <clears throat> here you're saying le ruego me disculpe beg your pardon y sí, sí, también lo puedo ocupar como disculpa. Ok, pero el tono cambiaría, ¿no? Golpeaste a alguien con el pie, pisaste a alguien por error. So you say, beg your pardon, I'm really sorry. Oh my God, are you okay? Sí, different than asking for repetition. If you didn't hear, so you, go, you go like, beg your pardon? Or pardon? Like this, look, pardon? It's like saying, what? What did you say? <laughs> okay. Could you run that by me again? Beg your pardon. Pardon. Come again, please. Okay. Ahora bien, lo voy a decir en español para dejarlo bien claro. Si alguien te dice algo como, por ejemplo, yo me casé con la madrastra de la tía de la nieta de mi abuela, que era la bisnieta de la vecina. What's your reaction in Spanish? Your city. Uh, yeah, you go like, ¿Cómo así? Yeah, the Are common Salvador. ¿Cómo así? Right? How do you say ¿Cómo así in English? You say, how like come? That. No, how come? How come? See, confused. When you're confused, you say, how come? How come? How come? How come? How come? How come? 
Okay. <laughs> okay. You see, one thing, and you can say it in many different ways. Questions? No, teacher. Practice used Hola. this. Utilicen este vocabulario, eh? No quiero escuchar hablando así. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that last word you said, teacher. Can you repeat that? Uh, yeah. I take a picture. <laughs> I, teacher. Yep. I have a question. Yes. All of the these sentences, um, uh, the origin of that expression is. It's in all USA or by region. Oh, I got you. You mean that if, if these phrases are in general in the United States, mm. let's say, for example, in the United States, yeah, they, they, these are common phrases, Ricardo. Everybody uses these phrases. Of course, if you go to New York downtown, for example, Somebody wouldn't say that, I mean, someone in the street wouldn't tell you, excuse me, I didn't understand what you said. <laughs> they will go like, yeah. they, will, like, they will go like, say what? Okay. Right? Say what? <laughs> and they are so lazy when they speak sometimes, they will just say, huh? I don't know, like, huh? Huh? What? Oh, and a very funny one. <clears throat> Mother Mother. Listen, Mother they don't understand you. They don't understand you. They don't, they didn't hear you. So they go like, the mother of who? What are you talking about? You hear? What are you talking about? No, what are you talking about? And that's a common one. That's a very common one. When somebody asks you, what you talking about? Okay. Ellos omiten el verbo to be. Okay. What you talking about? What you talking about? I say you, incluso lo vas a haber representado así. What you talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about? Okay. But this is, yeah, this is just street English, you know, slang, caliche, right? Yeah. Good? Yeah. Okay, guys. Thank so you. Thank you. Watch the video. I will send you the link to this video uh, again so you can watch all of these phrases. Now, let's start the class because there's a conversation on Unit 4, and we're going to use it right now. So your mission right now is to pay attention. You need to identify the grammar tense. Okay, before mm -hmm. I before I mute you all, do you have any questions? Alguna pregunta con lo que vamos a hacer ahorita con el audio que dije? Eh, tratar de entender la gramática. You got it. Good. Thank Teacher. you, Rachel. Yes. Could you repeat again, please? Yes. <laughs> Your mission right now is to understand the grammar, mm -hmm. the grammar's tenses. The grammar tenses. Is it future? Is it simple present? Is it past? What they okay. are using? Because okay. porque no van a leer. Ahorita intenté de hecho buscar una imagen que se viese mejor en el diálogo pero al final no está, entonces mejor para ustedes eh, escuchen atentamente hay algo en inglés, bueno que todos deberíamos de tener y si es active listening si los hombres tuviésemos active listening eh, no habrían divorcios okay. <laughs> don't talk about don't talk about that, ok <laughs> yeah, no, true, because you will be listening actively to every word your wife tells you or your girlfriend. You know, you're like, 
Oh, ok. Les entenderíamos, ok. Good. So, <laughs> let's do it. Ok, let's pay attention. Hello and welcome back. We're about to listen to different tenses in a single conversation. Pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using. This neighborhood has changed. Part A. Listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here. But the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Okay, now this was the first part of the audio. Okay, the, the name of the conversation is this neighborhood has changed. What is the grammar tense? Past, simple. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. <laughs> Next. Yeah. Next. <laughs> Uh, so what else? I, uh, present perfect. <laughs> ah, there you go. Okay, present perfect. Has, auxiliary, changed, past participle. Good. So the first sentence says, this neighborhood sure has changed. That's still present perfect. Okay, <clears throat> next. I know. Two years ago. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Huh? Next sentence. Tell me, what is the sentence? I know. I'm sorry, what a is it? What is it? What is the uh -huh. tense? Present perfect. Okay, so yes, we had present perfect. This neighborhood sure has changed. Uh -huh. That's present perfect. Uh -huh. Then I know. Uh -huh. What is that? I know. What grammar's tense is I know. Simple present. Simple present subject, the verb. A few years ago. Simple past. Are you sure? I think so. How will you translate a few years ago? Hace algunos años. What is the grammar tense in Spanish of hace algunos años? Estoy jugando con ustedes. Eso sí. Poco años. Es, no, eso de hecho. Uh, sí, tendría, sería parte del pasado, Kike, está en lo cierto. Solo que ahí no podrías identificar una estructura gramatical per se. ¿sí? Eso solamente es como un, uh, un adverbio de tiempo. ¿okay? Solo lo quería dejar claro. Quería. Uh -huh. Let's see what we're saying. A few years ago, hace un par de años. It's like saying yesterday, the day after mm -hmm. tomorrow. Okay. So the next sentence is what will give you the tense. Okay. Not many people lived here. Not many people uh, lived. That's perfect. Mm. Past. Past? Not many people lived here. Yeah, just past. Let's see. Simple, simple past. past. But simple, yeah, simple past. There you go. Uh -huh. But the population is growing so fast these days. Present continues. That's present continues. Now I need to hear Boris, uh, Carlos, German, Erika, Stephanie, Lorena. Good evening. Welcome. Carmen, Irene. Carmen, welcome too. Irene, okay. Giovanni is with us tonight. Okay, so I need to hear you guys, all of you. So, yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. It seems like there's a construction site on every corner. 
Present simple. Present simple, Kike. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is correct. There is. There are. Remember? Okay, next. Mm -hmm. Remember how we used to buy candy at the little grocery store? Again, remember how we Ask used to me. buy candy at the little grocery store? Simple past. Simple. Simple past. That's right. Used now, to. now it's a multiplex cinema. Now it's a multiplex cinema. Present. Simple present. Excellent, Kike. Okay. Let's give the chance to the others to answer. <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> hey, thank you, Man, you're great. You're doing good. <laughs> But I want to, I really want to hear Boris. Boris is back. Hello, Boris. Okay. Come Hello. Good night. Excellent. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, Boris. I'm glad to have you back. Carmen. Okay, guys. Please, we have to participate. Okay, let's do it together. Okay, the next one. Um, yeah. And they're tearing down, tearing down our high school. They're tearing down our high school. Uh-huh. What is the grammar tense? And they are tearing down our high school. Okay, somebody else? Simple past. Mm, listen, they are the verb to be tearing ing down our high school. Present continuous. That is present continuous. Yes, they are going to build. They are going to build a, a shopping mall soon. They're going to build a shopping mall. Future. Soon. Future. Future. There will be just malls and parking lots. There will be just malls and parking lots. Future. Future, Future. perfect. Okay. That's because everyone has a car. That's because everyone has a car. Uh -huh. Present. Present. People walked everywhere. I'm sorry, 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Past. Past. Nowadays, they drive. Present. 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 You got it. Let's go again with the video. And I will be pausing each sentence. Just listen. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you Okay. What about that old bookstore? Is there a grammar tense in that? Well, what about that old bookstore? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's no grammar tense. Okay. You know if it's still there? No. Do you past. know if it's perfect past? Hmm. Do you know if it is still there? Do you know if it is still there? Present. Present. Yes. Sabes si aún está ahí? Okay. So listen again. What about that old bookstore? Que hay? What about? ¿Qué hay acerca o qué hay sobre esa tienda de libros antigua? ¿Qué hay sobre esa librería vieja? Do you think they're still there? ¿Crees que aún está ahí? No, it's not. No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Now it's a pizzeria. Present. Present. Really? Let's go check it out. Really? Let's go check it out. Mm -hmm. Really, let's go check it out. Future. Marlon? Future? No. no. That's present. 
Let's go check it out. That's right. I have a question for you. Los polivoces. Los polivoces. Cantinflas. Yeah, I know Cantinflas, but what's the name of the movie? I can't remember. When he, yeah, he acts as a policeman. Okay, um, I have a question for you. Se puede hablar en futuro con el presente simple? So if you use present simple, can you use in future? Can you talk, speak in future using the present simple? Yes or no? Yeah. Are, yes, you can do it. How do you do it? <laughs> okay. Um, I think about, uh, for example, now, uh, for example, now is my day off, but I'm going to the visit my father, maybe. Mm, no, okay. You can use present simple to speak in future for scheduled events, scheduled events, like okay. the train. Mm. Nice try, Frank, thank you. The train leaves on Monday at eight o'clock. The train leaves next Friday at 8.30 a.m. Train leaves. That's simple present, a scheduled event that will happen in the future. Got it? Ya se acordaron, ¿no? Yeah. ¿Sí se acordaron? Good. Good. Let's move on. Let's go with the next sentence. All this talk about change is making me hungry. All this talk about change is making me hungry. Okay. Mm. All this conversation about change is making me hungry. It's making me present. So the subject Participate. is present. What? Participle. Present participle. Yes, present participle, or present continuous. Continue. So what is the subject of that sentence? All this talk about change. That is your subject. All this talk about change. Is making me hungry. Okay, it's like saying, well, it's the talk. Yeah, let me show you really quick here. Just look at the chat, right? All this talk about change is making me hungry. Okay, so all this talk is the subject. Oh, yeah. All this talk about change, that's your subject. Okay, that is your subject. ¿Con qué reemplazo esa, hora, esa frase? Toda esta, toda esta conversación sobre cambio. Okay, lo reemplazo con un sujeto. ¿Cuál sujeto es, Marlon? Es uh, it. It, perfect. Mm -hmm. Ok, luego tenés el verbo to be, is, ok, ing, making me hungry will, will be the, the complement. Ok, bien, como les he dicho desde el primer día, identifiquen um, cada, dónde es el auxiliar, cuál es el, cuál es el auxiliar de la de oración que están escuchando. Let's see. Did you get the tenses? Did you notice how they used simple past along with present and future? Stay with us so you can learn to do the same. Okay, so basically that was your mission to identify the time, the tenses. Um, pregunta, ¿es importante identificar en qué tiempo nos están hablando? Sure. Sure, right? Sure. You have to. 
Ahora, la manera más fácil de identificarlo es así, ahorita que estás aún aprendiendo, el auxiliar, ¿sí? escuchar si hay un ING en, en la oración, aunque repito, el ING no es el auxiliar, sino es el verbo to be, escuchar si ING es un tiempo con el verbo to be. Got it? Got it. Ok. So, ¿Cómo hacemos esto? ¿Cómo mezclamos los tiempos gramaticales? Es igual que en español. Ok. So, let's watch the video and then we're going to do a dynamic in groups so we can all get the hand of it. Para que podamos agarrarle la onda a esto. Ok. Let's listen. Hello everyone, before you watch our video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know, which are used in the past, present, and future. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years and we want to make reference since it happened, taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use the verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column, we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years ago, or people used to, or 50 years ago, and our verbs are in past. We used lived and walked. Let's move on to the present, and here we use these days, today, or nowadays, and of course, our verbs are is growing, shop, and drive, which are in the present. Last but not least, we have our future using expressions such as soon, in 20 years, in the future. Therefore, we use verbs in future. Will be, might buy, are going to use. Time contrast is easy to use. Just double check on your verbs. Think about it as one sentence per tense. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expressions. At that time, in the past, then. Okay, um, if you're paying attention, here you have more time expressions. Now, these ones are for the past, at that time, in the past, then. And I'm gonna give you another one, back then, Pay attention, back then. Ya se los había dicho, de hecho. Back then. Okay. So at that time, en ese entonces, in the past, en el pasado, then, entonces, back then, en aquel entonces. Uy, en aquel entonces. Back then, I was 12 years old. Okay. Okay, good, let's move on. And by the way, let me do something really quick. I'll do something. I will send you everything to the chat right now. Okay. Okay, teacher. Ok, ok, ok. Come on, guys. Bien, tienen un minuto para hacerme cualquier pregunta en español que tengan ahorita. Yo sé que hay muchas dudas, pero les da pena hablar y yo no sé por qué. ¿Qué vamos a hacer, teacher? 
Oh, ok. <risa> Good. A ver, ¿quién me puede explicar súper rápido cuál es el tema de hoy? So how to identify grammar tenses? Tienes que identificar grammar tenses. Very good. Ok. ¿Y qué es lo que estamos viendo ahorita? How to create different sentences in each grammar tense. With time expressions. With time expressions. Time yeah. expressions. That's mm -hmm. right. Very good. Ok. Good. ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahorita? Bien. I'll give you some topics. And I'll split the class in groups. You can practice. What was that? Okay. Guys, can you hear me? Yeah, teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Las disculpas del caso, pero me he tenido que mover de mi cuarto hacia el estudio. Les decía al principio, para los que se nos unieron luego. Y por eso se escucha un poquito de ruido aquí. Sorry. Son tres enanos que andan corriendo por toda la casa. Sorry. Ok. Good. There you have. So, tenemos time expressions para pasado, presente, futuro. And if you know some more, try to use them, ok? Oh, good. There's another one. As a child, I used to five years ago. Da -da -da. There you go. So here we go. This is your mission right now. Let's talk about interesting topics. Okay. One interesting topic. How everything used to be. Pay attention. Is and will be at schools. I think that will be it. How everything used to be is and will be at schools. So how, was, how everything used to be at schools, how everything is at schools nowadays, right? How everything will be at schools in the future. Ready? Questions? What are you doing? You're having a conversation with your classmates. I'm going to split the class right now so you can have a conversation with your group using the time expressions. So let me give you an example really quick. You know, I remember in my school, everything used to be very strict because as a child, I studied uh, second and third grade at uh, the monastery uh, at, um, you know, where, where foster kids go. You know what is a fo what a foster kid is? No mom, no dad. So I forgot how to say that place where they take care of foster kids, a shelter. Cuerfano. Yeah, yeah, that's a foster kid, but the place where they take care of them. Orfanato. orfanato. Yeah, for, yeah, it's an orfanato, right? So it wasn't, I forgot the word, orfanato. Aldeas infantiles SOS. <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't <laughs> SOS. Okay, it was something else. So the school name was Maria Consoladora del Carpinello. That was the name. And there were monks, you know, monks, women, taking care of us. So they were very strict very strict and i remember everything was strict nowadays nowadays kids do whatever they want and as a parent you have to do your homeworks with your kids and collaborate with the school so i think in the future it will be more complicated i think in the future kids will not go to school they will be taught they will be teached no no they will be taught by a computer you see by a robot past present future got it got it got it 
There you go. So let's practice your conversation skills. Okay, let's go. Bien, ¿y tú? Bien, Bien, gracias. Hello, Francisco. Hello, Ricardo. Ricardo, Elsa. Good evening. Good evening. Good okay, evening. don't say hello to the teacher. <laughs> hey, teacher. Come on, let's do it. Let's have a conversation. How's everything? How everything used to be? How it is nowadays and how will it be at schools? What do you think? Look at the WhatsApp group. You have the expressions, the time expressions there. Um, I remember uh, back then, um, uh, I have uh, to study uh, study music. Then. Um, uh, um, I played the soccer with my friend. Mm -hmm. During the breaks? Durante los recreos, during the breaks? In the class, maybe. <laughs> In the class? Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. And nowadays? Um, now, this school is uh, very good. I had uh, many uh, many memories. memories, memories. Oh, many good memories, many bad memories. I have many memories. Yeah. Many good memories. In a special and um, specially. Yeah, and especially. The last, the uh, ultimo siempre es last. Mm, I don't know, you the, tell me, last, last years, years, last years, okay. los últimos años. Yeah, yeah. especially mm -hmm. the last year. Um, okay. Now, remember, what's the question? Um, ¿Cómo era todo en las escuelas? Como es hoy en día y como será en el futuro. That's the question. In general, you have to generalize. Talk about schools, the school system, you know, how was it, how is nowadays, and how will it be in the future? Okay? Keep going. Okay. Come on, guys. Talk, 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 talk. Stephanie, Erika, Ricardo, you have to speak. Come on, continue. Okay. Hi, Tisha. I don't understand. It's very difficult. Oh, come on. <laughs> Como solía ser todo antes de las escuelas? Como es hoy? Como son hoy las escuelas? ¿Y cómo crees que serán en el futuro? In general, trata de generalizar cómo era, cómo te acordás tú, qué era antes, cómo es hoy, que sos papá probablemente, o ves a tus familias, a los niños ahora, y cómo crees que será en el futuro. That's the point. Ok, let's have a conversation. Mm. 
en español puedo responder en inglés. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the examples. Mira los ejemplos. Okay. You could say a few years ago, um, every kid, you know, all kids used to go to school. Okay. Oh, look at the, the second example in the past, Kike, uh, Carlos, I'm sorry. People used to shop at grocery stores. People used to shop at the chalet in the school. You know, you remember the mangoes with chili and alhuaste, right? Man, do you remember the breaks? We used to, we used to hang out with our classmates go around in the breaks, right? Now, these days, these days, kids, kids are always in problems. There are drugs in the schools, you know, okay? So I use the phone, the cell phone. They, they use their cell phones in classrooms. Oh my God, they can use their cell phone, I mean. <gasps> Do you remember before we used to go to the library to get a book and do the homework? Yeah. And nowadays they have Now cell the phones. Internet. They have the internet in the future? Oh. Mm -hmm. In the future. They will, they are going to. Mm -hmm. Future, future, they will or they are going to. Como se dice antes en inglés? Before. Oh, before, before, no. Be, before the student, the The practice in the bibli biblioteca in English. Bib in the library. The library. Uh, pra practicaba, uh, they used to practice they used in to the practice library. He do your rules. Uh -huh. rules. Their, their homework. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and do their homework in the library. Uh, There, there, suya de there. ellos. Remember, there, suya de ellos. Their there. homework. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue, guys. That's the idea. Continue, okay? I have to go to another classroom, to another break room. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So tell me, how, how, how was the scholar system before? How is it today? Nowadays, I'm sorry, and how will it be in the future? We were talking about um, in the past, the schools um, were uh, smaller than today. Um, In the past, uh, the students were fewer than now. Um, mm. We were talking about the, the technology too, mm -hmm. because the technology could be a problem or could be something that can help the students now and in the future. That's depending the way that the students use it, right? Mm -hmm. Because nowadays, Mm, we can find the right way the right way that the technology is used to and um, but, but that's wrong ways in that could be used because we were talking about the students in the past and uh, were more dedicated to the study than the students to the than the students today right They than, to are, than today's students. Than today's students. Uh -huh. Today's students are lazier than all the students. Therefore, therefore, make, make your conclusion. I like, I like what you're saying. Mm -hmm. So let's make the conclusion. 
So students are la lazier today than the ones in the past. Therefore, por tanto. It depends how you use the technology, teacher. Mm, Therefore, go. in the future, huh? uh, it will depend the way of the students use the technology, right? It will be up to the way they, the students use the technology. Yeah. Okay. It will be up to the the evolution. It will be up to the evolution of the educational system. You know, how they use the cell phones. If they are going to be on live classes or everything, it will be virtual. Perfect. And, yeah. and Herman is, is telling about uh, the money. Herman, tell about yeah, Herman, what happened with the, the money in the past. Yeah. How long? Yeah. Uh, when uh, uh, I, I was uh, a student, I used uh, cologne. Mm -hmm. I bought many, many uh, things. Things, yes. At the chalet. Yes, <laughs> soya, yeah. churros, soya, churros, yeah, snacks. And about, and about the Thanks. computer center, German, are you saying? Yes, um, mm -hmm. uh, in, in this uh, a, a, a few school, uh, a small school, uh, no, no, um, they didn't have. No, have uh, don't don't have a computer center. And nowadays, and nowadays, uh, uh, e, e, uh, every 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 school uh, have a, a computer center. Has a computer center? Yes. Has a computer center. Okay, so. It's so, good. Mm -hmm. Um, very soon, maybe. So very soon. So muy pronto. Uh, uh -huh. Very soon. Uh, uh, that the technology is is um, very important uh, by students. For the students, soon. The students. So very soon. The the technology will be very important for students. Okay, good guys, our, our time is up. Let's go back to the main room, okay? Okay. Hi, teacher. Just hey, Frank. <laughs> I'm what? You're expressing. No, no, no. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm just, I'm thoughtful. I'm just thinking a lot. Bien. Eh, chicas, regresamos todos. A ver. Okay, 12 seconds, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and here we go. Okay, bien, ya que estamos todos de regreso, recordarles, permítanme 13, ya estamos todos, okay. Bien, eh, bueno, tomarme un minuto de la clase, terminó, pero... Recordarles, esta semana no tenemos clase el viernes, solo será de lunes a jueves. Y después de esta, pues nos queda una más y terminamos el 18 de, de diciembre, si no me equivoco. Eh, sí, el 17 de diciembre, si no me equivoco, el próximo jueves. Eh, si no han terminado su plataforma, pues aquí estoy para apoyarles. Al finalizar esta clase yo me quedo subiendo los videos eh, por, un, por lo menos una hora más. Y me preocupó este ejercicio. Voy a ser bien honesto con ustedes. 
Y puesto que aquí estábamos ocupando tres estructuras bien básicas, el pasado simple, el presente simple y el futuro simple. Ok. Y lo único que tenías que hacer era utilizar los, esas frases de transición, ¿no? Hablar de, uy, en aquel entonces, ay, iba al colegio y me iba para el chalet, hacía cola y compraba mangos, recuerdo, con chile y el wash. Recuerden que algunas palabras no, no, no son traducidas al inglés, pero traten de ser lo más natural posible. Eh, ¿Qué podrían haber hecho ahí? Pues apoyarse entre todos. Ey, ¿cómo se dice esto? Ey, mira. Eh, ok, y luego movernos al presente. No, hombre, hoy ya no se puede ir al chalet. Imagínate con esto del COVID, que no sé qué. Mira, los bichos de ahora ya no van a poder vivir esa experiencia de hacer la cola. ¿verdad? Y gran relajo que se armaba en las colas del chalet. De poder pedir fiado en el chalet ya no van a poder hacerlo tampoco. ¿Y en el futuro cómo van a hacer? Pues ni van a ir a clases, de seguro un robot les va a dar clases. O sea, esa experiencia, eso, eso eh, necesitamos practicarlo, así de que estén a tiempo mañana, eso les puedo decir a las nueve, vamos a hacer el mismo ejercicio, empecemos y practiquen entre ahora y mañana, ejemplos que podrían traducir al inglés, si tienen alguna duda estoy para servirles, ¿verdad? Eh, les veo mañana a las nueve de la noche, ¿ok? Bien. Yes, teacher. Okay. Sí. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. ¿Alguien tenía una pregunta por ahí? No. no? Sí, okay. teacher. Solo, solo aclarar. Eh, lo que estamos viendo es pasado simple, presente simple y futuro, y futuro simple. Simple. Okay. Correcto. Muy bien, okay. Carlos. Okay. Okay. Carlos. Yes. Teacher, good night. Please practice. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.